So I made a post earlier today from an, an article. The article I saw was titled uh, something along the lines of why we need to begin teaching our boys about toxic masculinity as early as the age of five. Now, I don't subscribe to the term and the idea and the notion of toxic masculinity. I know what anybody who uses the term is trying to say, but the underlying message is that boys and men are inherently bad. I don't subscribe to that. I don't believe that, but that's beside the point. Look, there, as early as the age of five, we're going to start teaching boys that they're inherently bad and we've got to condition this physiological truth out of our boys and out of men, it's absolutely ridiculous. But somebody sent me a message or a, a comment and they said, Ryan, in all seriousness, what, what can we do? What can we do in a society that seems to not want boys to grow up and to be men? And I've got, as I was thinking about this this morning, three very simple solutions. They're not easy. They take time and effort and sacrifice, no doubt. But they are very, very simple. So let me share those with you. Number one, we've got to be dads in the walls of our home. And I'm not talking about fathers, because any dude with a penis can be a father. I'm talking about being dads. I'm talking about being available and present physically, mentally, emotionally, coaching and lifting up and leading our boys and teaching them how to win and how to lose and how to harness this raw masculinity that's coursing through their veins. You've done it, I've done it, other men have done it, and it's up to us to teach our boys how to use that power, and it is powerful. Use that power not to be destructive, but to be constructive, to serve themselves, their families, their businesses, their communities when they get older. Number one, be a dad in the walls of your home. Number two is you, we've got to be father type roles in the community. See, I so, see so many men who are selfish. They do a wonderful job of being fathers within the walls of their home, and yet they won't extend that outside. I'm busy. I can't do this. I can't invest time here. And they just focus on themselves. Look, that's great. But the problem is we're sending our boys and girls out into the world, school and sports and all the other things they're doing. And they're being influenced by other boys who are being raised without fathers. So it's our responsibility as men to step outside of the walls of our home and lift the boys up who don't have an example of what it means to be a man. This could be in a church organization. This could be through the community and coaching sports teams. It could be through the school. It could be a big brother type mentoring program. There are so many opportunities to serve our young men in the communities. And it has to be done because if we don't do it, no one else will. And the third component of this is we've got to elevate ourselves to the position of leadership. Leadership within the walls of our home, leadership in the community, leaders in the businesses that we have, uh, leaders in national and local and regional politics. We've got to gain the insight and experience and knowledge and understanding and practical application so that when we speak, we do so with authority and credibility because we are in those positions of leadership. I want to be able to dictate the things that are being taught not only to my kids, but to other kids. And I want to also be able to dictate the things that will not be taught to our boys. One is this idea that men are inherently bad or we're wrong just because we have, again, this masculine energy and these hormones and everything else that we have coursing through our veins. Guys, we've got to do better than we are currently doing. Society seems to dismiss it altogether, uh, seems to frankly not want our boys to grow up to be men and I think we're gonna experience some real problems with that. We're already beginning to experience problems with that, with a lack of fathers in the home and in the communities. We see crime rates go up when fathers aren't around. We see school dropout rates, we see violence, we see suicides. When fathers aren't around, when good men are not present and are not lifting up our youth, we see some real struggles. We will continue to do so until we adhere to those three strategies. Number one, be a dad within the walls of your home. Number two, be a father figure in the community. And number three, elevate ourselves to position of leadership within our communities, our businesses, and also politics. Again, not easy stuff, it takes time, effort, sacrifice. It is very simple, but guys, we've got a lot of work to do and we have to do it if we have any hope, any hope of allowing our boys to turn into the men that they're capable of being.